Hello everyone, this is N.K. Sajar, working in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sajar Institute of Research and Technology, Global. So welcome you all in today's session. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the type of heat treatment process uh, under the topic heat treatment process. In the earlier sessions, we have covered the basic part of the heat treatment process. We have discussed about the definition of heat treatment process, what are the cooling mediums, uh, for the heat treatment process, what, what are the different stages uh, through which the heat treatment process is carried out. Then uh, after that we have listed about the classification of the heat treatment process, how the heat treatment process are classified. The treatment process are classified uh, according to bulk heat treatment process and surface heat treatment process. Under bulk heat treatment process we have seen uh, Four different processes annealing, normalizing, uh, then martemping, and tempering. And under the surface heat treatment process, we have seen two categories one is thermal surface heat treatment process, and second is thermochemical heat treatment process. After that, uh, we have uh, discussed about the heating temperatures, heating temperatures for the annealing and normalizing. Uh, and also discussed about the some theoretical temperatures with the help of iron carbon diagram. And uh, today's uh, we are going to discuss the types of heat treatment process. So let us start today's session with the types of heat treatment process. Okay, uh, before going to particular type of heat treatment process, uh, again uh, let us define the heat treatment process. In the heat treatment process, uh, basically we follow three stages, uh, namely heating, uh, soaking, and the cooling. So heating a material to a temperature, to a temperature means up to a certain temperature, then holding it at uh, that temperature. Uh, in this stage, the temperature is maintained constant for some period of time. And after that, the by using some cooling medium, the part or component is allowed for the cooling. That is called heat treatment. The type of heat treatment process uh, can be identified on the basis of cooling medium used. Whatever cooling medium is used as per the part on the basis of that the particular the type of heat treatment process can be identified. And these are the stages through which heat treatment process is carried out. So the first uh, process that is known as annealing and uh, in the earlier session uh, we have uh, discussed about the bulk heat treatment process. So annealing process, this is the process under the bulk heat treatment process because bulk heat treatment process means uh, the component or alloy, whole component or alloy is allowed for the heat treatment process and bulk heat treatment process is the internal phenomenon. The first process is annealing process or uh, known as uh, full annealing process or uh, conventional anne annealing process. So in brief, we are going to cover the all work heat treatment process. So what is annealing process? From the diagram, you can see uh, on the horizontal axis the time T is maintained and the on vertical axis, the temperature is maintained in the degree Celsius. So for any heat treatment process, we have discussed that we have to follow three stages. Number one is heating. So this is the first stage that is heating. That, uh, that this process follow the, this step. Temperature versus to time. So this is a heating. And after completion of uh, heating means after adding the heat up to a certain temperature, then second stage starts that is holding. Holding means we have to allow the component or uh, alloy for some period of time at that temperature by maintaining the constant temperature. So this is holding. And after holding by using a particular medium, the cooling of the component starts. So this is the cooling curve. 
So you can see in this diagram the process heating and holding is common for all heat treatment process, but the cooling curve varies here. This is cooling curve 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So already we have discussed that the cooling medium will decide the type of heat treatment process. If we follow this cooling medium denoted by 1, so it will be the different heat treatment process. If we follow the root 2 for the cooling medium, then uh, it will be the second heat treatment process mm -hmm. like this 3, 4 and 5. So what is annealing process? So in the annealing process, there is a very slow cooling by switching of furnace and leave free for slow cooling. It will give force per light microstructure of an alloy. So under the annealing heat treatment process, the component or alloy is heated up to a certain temperature. This is the first stage. After that, it is alloyed for the holding up to the same period of time. That is stage two. Then after over the shortening time, now the component is allowed for the cooling and that cooling is taking place very slow. And very slow means how the cooling is carried out in this process. In this process, after over the process two that is holding or soaking, the furnace is switched off. And but the material or component that is not taken out from the furnace. And the component or alloy uh, left free in the furnace for the cooling up to the room temperature. And this process takes very long time to uh, down the temperature up to the room temperature. And it takes long time. So you can see in the diagram the root uh, 1 that is uh, cooling uh, of root 1. It takes long time. So this process is known as annealing. And as the result of this process, this process gives cores for light microstructure of an alloy as the result. So this is known as annealing process. The second process that is known as normalizing process. Under the normalizing, again you can see the diagram, the first two stages are common that is heating and the holding. Now the changes uh, you can see uh, in the cooling curves. In the annealing, we follow the cooling curve 1, but in the normalizing, we will follow the cooling curve. So, uh, look at the diagram, the two, when we follow the cooling curve 2, so now you can see the time measurement. As compared to the previous, annealing, uh, is taking, uh, annealing process is taking time, this longer time, annealing process. But normalizing, if we follow the curve 2, normalizing taking place uh, some less time as compared to the previous annealing process. So uh, we can see that uh, the nor in the normalizing process, we are in faster cooling. So in this process, after over the process two, now the sample or work piece or component is taken out from the furnace. And this component uh, is leave it in the uh, air for natural cooling. After uh, taking out the component from the furnace, it is kept uh, in the open environment and left for the natural cooling. So this uh, process is known as normalizing. And as a result, this process gives a fine perlite light microstructure of the alloy. This is known as normalizing. This is a third world heat treatment process known as uh, normalizing. In uh, this process, uh, there is a um, interrupted quench and it gives bainite microstructure. So for this process, uh, the two processes are common that is heating and second stage is holding. Right? Only the difference is that the cooling process. So in annealing process, uh, you have seen that the 
cooling curve one is followed for the annealing process and it takes very long time because the cooling medium is uh, unless itself then in second process that is normalizing we have seen the cooling curve two uh, is followed for the second process that is normalizing in which we have seen that the component are alloys allowed in the open environment for the cooling up to the room temperature that is known as normalizing but in the third process that is as tempering this is also the type of bulk heat treatment process and uh, after over the uh, uh, process of heating and holding the cooling process starts like this and in this cooling process there is a interrupted cooling interrupted Engine. It means after over the second steel, the component or alloy is dipped into the water or uh, other solutions up to this temperature. This is the uh, first stage. The cooling process is carried out in the two stages. In the first stage, it is cooled up to this temperature. Then after that, it is cooled for the uh, some period of time at the same temperature after that again it is allowed for the cooling again it is uh, dipped into the water again quenching is done so in this process the cooling process is carried out in the two stages so this is known as as tempering process and as a result this uh, process gives the benite microstructure annealing gives the uh, coarse uh, perlite microstructure, normalizing gives the fine uh, perlite microstructure and as tempering gives the benign microstructure of uh, an alloy. After as tempering, the next uh, process that is known as uh, tempering process. So the tempering process, in this process, the heating of metal and alloy is carried out after quenching process over and it gives tempered martensitic uh, microstructure. Actually, this process is carried out after over the process uh, that is known as quenching process or that is known as the martensite uh, process. So, for carrying out this uh, process, uh, for following this process, the first process that is known as quenching process. After over the quenching process, then temperature process is carried out. From the uh, look at the diagram, the two stages are common heating and holding, right? After over the holding, that is the uh, process uh, of mar tempering or quenching, the uh, material or component is allowed for the cooling. It means it is uh, quenched into the water. That, uh, it follows this curve, that is uh, curve number. But as a result, the extreme hardness is achieved. But if we uh, require the less hardness as achieved uh, by following the curve time, so how to achieve the less hardness as compared to the martensite state hardness? So for uh, doing this, the process tempering is followed that uh, decreases the that reduce that reduces the extra hardness that is achieved in the uh, martensite process so that's why it is uh, pro this process is carried out after over the quenching process so the process quenching ends at uh, uh, number 5 then again it is uh, heated up to a certain temperature then again it is hold for some time at constant temperature, then again it is allowed for the quenching. Then tempering process is achieved. So for the tempering process, this is the tempering process. Uh, follow uh, these curves like this. This is uh, heating, then holding, then mar tempering or quenching. After over my tempering or quenching, again the material is heated up to certain temperature like this. It is added. Then again it is cold or uh, 
certain period is uh, certain period uh, is allowed for uh, some time then after again it is quenched this process is known as uh, tempering process and the tempering process reduces the uh, hardness that is achieved in the process by that is martin ring process Now the last uh, process that is known as quenching process are also known as the martemping process. In this process, the cooling is carried out very fast, right? Very fast cooling by dipping the sample or component or alloy into the water. Now you look at the diagram. This is process one, holding, uh, heating, then process second is holding. Then after over the stage two, the component or alloy is dipped into the water and very fast cooling is carried out. And this uh, process gives the martensite microstructure that shows the very um, high hardness of the material. So these uh, uh, are the uh, bulk heat treatment processes that we have studied. So, uh, thank you all of you. Now, uh, let us conclude the session. So, what we have discussed in today's session, we have discussed about the uh, bulk heat treatment process in brief. How the uh, processes, are, uh, processes are, uh, are carried out by using the different cooling medium and all uh, process we have understood with the help of the diagram. Uh, annealing process and, and annealing process we have only in each process, the difference is that cooling medium. And each heat treatment process is carrying out in the uh, by following the three stages heating, holding, and cooling. So, uh, the two first, first two stages, heating and holding, are common for each process, but the different is cooling process. In the annealing, we have seen the material is allowed for cooling in the furnace itself by switching off the furnace, and it takes very long time to. Uh, Move the temperature up to the room temperature. And the normal agent, we have seen that the uh, component are allowed uh, yeah. in the open environment for cooling up to the room temperature. So, here is the medium for the cooling. And third, as tempering uh, in the as tempering process, the cooling process is carried out, carried out in the two different stages. Then, uh, tempering that process tempering is it starts after over the quenching the treatment process. In the quenching, we have seen that the cooling medium is very fast. And all heat treatment process gives the different microstructure as a result. So, uh, thank you very much. Uh, we meet soon in the next session.